This might not even make it onto YouTube, to be honest. I've done that many of them. <laughs> well, it's part of the job, isn't it? So? Yeah, it's part of the job, so. Put the angle line in. Second hand angle line, because you don't buy angle lines with holes in. So you cut the brick around the, the, the brickwork here, instead of taking the full hundred out and slotting it straight in. So that means these have cracked. That one's cracked, that one's cracked, and this one's cracked. Priorities, brews made, radio. So, Saturday morning. Not sure what the date is, but 24th, 24th of June. Right, it's going to be an awful day for doing lintels, but so yeah, we're going to get the two angle lines done today. That's the plan. So, we'll see how that goes. I brought my hoodie so I don't get co as covered as I did yesterday. So, um, pretty straightforward. Three courses out, angle line in. Cavity tray, vents, brickwork back in. Your standard stuff. This might not even make it onto YouTube, to be honest. I've done that many of them. <laughs> well, it's part of the job, isn't it? So? Yeah, it's part of the job, so. Oh, no. So, yeah. Now, let's just set these trestles up. Uh, coffee's made over there. The electric's out, so we'll get set up and make a mess. It's about quarter past eight. Didn't quite get here for eight. We're, I had a lion this morning, so we didn't quite make it for bacon butties today. So um, we shall see you in a bit. Right, had a bit of an issue with the phone there, because I can't use it. Yeah, once the angle line's in today, that's ready for dropping. So when the robbies come with their door frame, they'll chop it, chop it, drop it, and fit it. Um, that side's all right, you can just see the across through the gap. That is that that mortar that hard that doesn't even need propping. It's that going nowhere. This side, however, in the super extension. There you go. Look at that. Just what Alex is doing is opening up the cavity. You know we keep banging on about this. Open up the cavity. Hey, Al, did you get a minute? Try and get that piece of brick out, and that's not off that tie wire. Yeah, I'm trying. The tie wire that runs back into the house. But yeah, you said this is where I just threw bits of brick in and foam. That one, it's just been bits of bricks like that just squashed in and expansion foamed over. And this one just looks like it's solid foam, just straight up foam. And then um, I've done all the cutting on this one. You can see it's got a nice big lintel in it. But let's get you up here, so get close up. Basically, when they've done this lintel, ow, I think it's original. Put the angle line in, the second hand angle line, because you don't buy angle lines with holes in. Um, pushed it up against the, the oversized concrete lintel. No cavity tray. So the fact that this has never leaked is just a miracle. I mean, there's not a lot of brickwork over the top of it, but it still doesn't stop it leaking. The mortar's quite soft, which is good for us, but not good if you haven't got a cavity tray in. So obviously we're going to have a cavity tray in. It's going to be cut back, half a brick each side. New lintel, which will run to about here. And the reason we took these extra bricks out is because, as you can see, when they've toothed in, they didn't bother toothing right back. Cut it back about 50 mil and chop the back off the brick. So, is it pistol in your pistol at brick? So, they've cut the brick around the, bl the, bl the brickwork here instead of taking the full hundred out and slotting it straight in. So, that means these have cracked. That one's cracked, that one's cracked, and this one was cracked. So, I'm gonna have to take that one out as well now. I thought it subsided or something, but it wasn't. It's just um, the bricks, the, the brittle bricks anyway, and they've took the back. They've took a third of the back of the brick off, as you can see, so we're going to have to chop this back. Back to there, so we can get a full brick in, and fix it properly. And again, pop this one out, take this one out. It's like pulling a piece of, piece of, um, piece of cotton on the jumper and just keep going, it gets worse and worse and worse. But as you can see, this is all, all the mess is done now, all the power tools are done, so it's just a matter of getting the rest of it out 
getting the bridge cleaned up and start putting things back this afternoon after we've had a quick dinner. So I'm um, going to get this the rest of this done and go and have our dinner. And then while I'm um, while that's just cleaning the bricks up, I'm going to get out and next put in. That's enough mumbling. Let's get this crack, cracked off. That's enough mumbling. Let's get on with this. I've got a lot left to do. No. We've got the lintels, the steel. <laughs> We've got to do that as well. We can't wait for the roof to be stripped. It's got to be done before. What's we can't wait for the roof to be stripped. We've got to do that before. We're waiting for the roof to be so we can get the Bobby said he can't. We need to strip the roof and put the roof straight back on, so we need to get that done first. So he's going to knock us a frame up. So I'm going to have to build it off my knees. I have to let Paul know as well so he can. Wait, what do you mean? What's being done? Reducing that window to 600. That? Yeah. Alright. Right. Sorry about the wind. It's now. One minute to twelve. So there you go. Whole bit rich out. As you can see, it's floating on thin air. It's not been propped yet. <laughs> we will get a couple of props in. Maybe just one. There's the uh, there's the second hand angle line. Just the holes in it. So put any old pieces cracking. No tray. Obviously no vents. No whatever. So that's coming out. It's getting cut back to there. And cut back to there. And we're putting a bigger lintel in and we're going to put a cavity tray in and we're going to put wheat vents in so this is the cracked bricks I've took out and I've cut the cut the bricks back so they didn't have to come out because they were cracked we took them out to replace them so let's fix them so we're um, quick dinner uh, mix in while Alex finishes cleaning the bricks and then straight back on here and get this sorted I'm going to drop this lint out now, get a cup, get an acro put into it and uh, go on some lunch. Right, just after one, Alex is getting a mix in, I'm just getting my tools together. So I've got the uh, the radio's on. Yeah, I'll just have to stop because the radio's on. <laughs> that was a crime. Turning prints down, sorry about that. Oh yeah, lintel's there. Just need to find the... The... Uh, um, um, there. Find the... <laughs> Still looking for sticking our cavity tray up and then our little wheat vents. We pretty much use buff on every job now because most of the motors are the same colour. And then the amount of this show which is why we get a lot of uh, where's your wheat vents? They're not used to spot like tie wires. Here yeah, there's a there's a blast from the past. That is an, an excellent condition tie wire or whatever they're called but they are absolutely horrible. They are lethal when they're sticking out the wall. I've had many chunks taken out of my head with them. But yeah, there's our, our vents. Got a couple of different ones. I'm going to keep them all the same. So, this all our bits. Alex has finished um, cleaning the bricks. I'm going to need a few new ones because we've broken a couple. And we took three, three cracked ones out as well. And two broke on the way out because they're not very good, those bricks. You can see the holes are different, different bricks. Not a bad match, but different, different bricks. But yeah, sun cream's on now because all the dust is over. So I'm going to get this um, lintel in, get the tray set up. And get cracking. I'm always getting on the scaffold then and get this one blasted in. And get set up on this one for later on. Right.
Right, quick update. That one's done. Brick work done, tray, vents, blah blah blah, and, and top of the cut's done. So the, the Robbie and Robbie just follow that down. Um, so that side's finished. We're just setting up on this side, it's about five past three. We've got enough more to finish it, but we'll see how we get on with this. Um, we'll both jump on this. I'm just going to get a quick drink and then get the cavity tray set up and then we're away. And it's the sun's on us all day here. So it's it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> Very hard. It does not when there's crack bricks in the wall and you've got to replace them. But yeah, look right when that's dried. So um, we'll try and find somewhere to put the camera this time because we were filming it but it overheated and switched itself off. Because the camera doesn't like the heat either, I don't blame it. So um, let's get back to time lapse in a bit and we can find a shady part for the camera. Happy Monday, Monday the 26th of June, 29. We've been to Fields and picked up some more fibre lights. Quick trip to um, Cheeky Monkey Spa to get a bacon butt in a drink on the way through. And then we've just popped back over to another job to get our, our acro, but we didn't manage to get it. Um, quick update, Paul our, Paul our customer has been in to uh, Paul our customer came in yesterday and he's cleared all this out. You remember this was a bit of a tip. The reason we left it, because it was polystyrene balls, we didn't have anywhere to put them. Because we're not using a skip, we couldn't just throw them out there. So uh, Paul's managed to get them all up and made a right and lovely job of it. So, progress update. From there, back's finished. That pillar's up ready for the steel. Steels are coming this week. That's all we know. We don't know when this week. We're obviously propped up on the in the internal, so theoretically we could take up the back skin out. But um, I don't really like having the thing up on props for too long, so we'll, we'll demolish when we've got the seals in position. Uh, we've thrown our little little wheels in the van so for when the steels do arrive for getting them in because they make the, the steels a, a two-man job. Um, I think we're going to end up doing this one today. So, um, yeah, there's that. Obviously, that to brick up, that to brick up. We're going to do block work first so it's sealed and then we can do the toothing out without getting out. I mean, the dust doesn't really matter, but you know what I mean. As you can see, that's ready. That's finished. I'll show you what we got up to on Saturday. That internal's finished. There's drains to do here as well, but we haven't, we haven't sorted them out yet. So there's our lintels. New angle iron, new angle iron. That's a two meter angle iron, because that's a, it's not a standard size. We got a 2.4 and cut it down. That was a 1500, I think. But yeah, we got them both done on, on Saturday, which is good going really. So there's new angle iron, new tray, new vents. So that, as you can see, the cut's in that ready. That's ready for taking down. Same there, we just started the cuts at the top. So when Robbie cuts with a disc cutter, he doesn't have, he, we won't go near the lintel with the disc cutter. So that's that's us finished here though as well. So that's ready to hand over to Robbie and Robbie. They're also putting a new roof on here. But we've, um, we've got this window to reduce. I think we're reducing it to 600. So the Robbies are making us a, a, a timber frame with a bit of appliance we can build it in to leave it secure. We can do the block work on that today. There's nothing stopping us doing that today. And then um, it's just a matter of getting the window out, toothing out. But we can, we'll have to work off the roof. But we're going to end up on our knees. We're going to end up on our knees, unfortunately. Sorry about the wind, I haven't got the wind muffle on the mic. So... Yeah, I think the job's decided for us. What's next? It's going to be this. Yeah. Yeah. We'll leave this till absolute last because it's it's good access. That's good for ventilation, but when it's got to go, it's got to go. So, like I say, block work first. So we'll get a mix on and um, we'll get that rattled up. Kettle's just boiling. Perfect timing. I put the mic on for the, the wind muff, so I hope that's come out. There's no wind in the house. It's windy out there. So there we go, new week, let's get cracking.
straws out, obviously, in one piece. So all the people who say, tell us off for destroying these frames, it can be repurposed if the customer decides, but that's not up to us. So it gets skipped, don't get on to us about it. Here we go, this is what we're up against. This is the cavity, I'm trying to get a bit of light in there. It's hard to see really, a lot of snots in the cavity, not a very big cavity. And the base down there is just rammed. So while the cavity is open, this is our opportunity to get all the shit out of it. Ugh. It's actually too narrow to us feed insulation in, so it's going to have to be injected if you want insulation in it. Or pour some poly beads in from the top. You can buy them. I did that in the old house we had. So yeah, good all that crap. And all that down there. So we're going to get all this out before we carry on. Yeah, we can out that side. Thing. There's no, there's no rust on that, so let's see what Paul says about that. Probably just paint that because it's going to be sealed in the wall. It's not going to be getting, it's, it's going to be under the roof, so it's not getting wet. There's no damage on it, absolutely no movement on it whatsoever. So that should be able to stay. In. Maybe some hammer or something on it. Yeah, it's not long to get into that corner. So you can't leave all the shite and the floor is just, just a bit of gobbo straight over that plastic. It's all damp in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So get this all cleared out and we can get cracking with the block work. Proper job. Back to time lapse. All oh, right, there we go. Let's just get the last bit of the crowbar. I'd say we're on this a good half hour. We had, the, we had this, this shite piled high over the DPC. The, yeah, got a gorilla tub full. The other end is above DPC. Obviously, it's up to floor level across the door. So now we've took it down as far as we can, which is about a course and a half below. DPC, so it's all it's all wet. Well, not wet, but damp. So could have had a rising damp in that. Let's just see that last bit there. Trying to get the camera lens in. Sorry about the uh, orientation. But that was that was solid more to that. Two of them is a good half an hour trying to get all that shit out. I've got most of the door out, so I'll take the rest of this out, and then the rest of that cavity will be coming out. So the, uh, the cavity will run right across the back of the whole extension, so there'll be no cold bridging. Obviously we'll be insulating where we are, um, I think we've got 75mm insulation, we might have to yeah, split, split it, it yeah. down a bit, yeah. that's a tiny cavity. Yeah. Yeah. It needs a wall plate putting in as well, but that will have to come to that when the roof comes off, and see what the robbers want to do with that. So yeah, we're done, we're going to have a break now. Just see. Let me just turn the camera upside down. Lens is in the right place now, so I can see right through. That's it. That's clear cavity. I've also took all the bits of block and the crap out of there and give the tower a good smack. So it's as good as we can get it without knocking the whole thing down. So, let's head for the van and have a break. Time's over. I missed this with the camera. <laughs> Yeah, got the blower on there, spotless now. Practice this little bit of damp course up. Mortar's ready to go. I'll actually just clearing up Saturday's mess. Not, not really good practice, but it's sorted now. It was like five o'clock. Well, yeah, it, it was. It was quite late when we finished. Anyway, no way. Yeah. Let's get cracking. Get this blocked up. Shouldn't take long. Once this is done, we're going to get jump on these. Start taking these halves out because it'll be sealed up then. Less mess because the mortar seemed pretty soft around there, but we'll see. We might just end up there um, grinding them out. So, um, I think the way the toothers work, this um, this angle line might be coming out anyway. So, we'll see what we do when we get up there. Let's put you up somewhere out of the way and get cracking. Thank you. 
You know, over that time. In recent weeks, prices have begun to reduce, but haven't reflected the wholesale price drop at the pumps. Do you think the retailers have been profiteering and taking advantage with those extra costs eating into your own margins? Do you pass the extra costs on to your customers? Don't forget your site shout outs as well. Where you are, where you are, where you are, and what you're up to. Uh, let me know 81400 with a text. Text the word fix first, send your message. Or you can direct message me via the Fitch Radio app. First one of the week, that's the Holland Horning, the 10 minute warning for the pub lunch quiz. Those questions coming along in around 10 minutes' time. No exaggeration, 10 minutes, 15 minutes plus I've been on this because I've got this thing which just flies through it, very little dust, very little mess and then just does the cut that you want as far as you want it to, doesn't take all the extra cut out like a disc cutter does, more than enough depth, so um, yeah, usually this job you've got this, you've got all these so is I think it's 14, 28, you've got 56, getting over 60 halves to take out. Usually the one of the bricklayers' worst jobs that we don't nobody likes, but it's an absolute doddle with that thing. And just pick a couple of taps out and then clean out with that. Absolutely brilliant. Flying through. So I'm gonna have these out. I'll play have these out in about half an hour. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. Say hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and then Alex is getting the mix on. He's doing some block work up in the bathroom. Which is reducing that window that way. No, sorry, going that way to make the window 600. I think to allow for a shower cubicle in the bathroom. 
just doing the block work today. Doing the bit work another day and we get the get a frame to build in. But back to this. I should get on this today and get a few courses into this into the space work, which we had be great. Wasn't expecting that today. We're not quite undermined this D hand line so that can stay in. And then um, another thing is always work down with the toothers. So as you're tapping that one out, if you've already took the one below it, there's a chance you can snap snap your brick. So if, if, if you're working on this one and the brick underneath is solid, you've pretty much no chance of snapping that one below as you take this one out. Whereas you go the other way, there's a good chance of pressure on the brick. If it's got a little bit of a crack in it, it'll just crack it off, which nobody wants. So yeah, that's what we're up to. So I'll actually film a few this time and then get back to you a bit. Well, uh, I've just come down to get my cuts done. He's got a side up, a side down, should I say? And uh, he wants me to show you it in normal speed now. Happy days. Right, Alex is upstairs finishing off. He won't, he won't be long now. I've just got myself set up. Put the trestles down. A few there to get the first couple of courses in. Then trestles, so no, no, well, less bending, let's say. Board ready. I'm gonna get my line up in a sec. Should be able to just hook up a corner block and a corner block on this end. Nice and straightforward. Same when we do this one. Corner block right through. And side to side. So yeah, I think these are pretty good match these. A brilliant match. Brilliant. And I think these are actually Accrington. Some of them will say Accrington on the back. They're the like a face engineering brick. So yeah, tiny cavity. Yeah, customer said because there's that many bits of insulation missing out of the house, he's just going to get it redone in the end. So we'll insulate our bit and then the rest of it can be blown in at a later date. So yeah, the lintel's still in because it's not a, it's it's got a good seating on it, it's actually did one thing right. And we're going to leave that in, just build that in. Uh, get me damp course down now, get a bit more of this crap out of the cavity and away we go. So we'll catch you in a bit.
Right, so while well, Dad's been down there doing the brick clean, I've done this part. Obviously just the block work for now, but that's going to be that's going to be the new window, just the 600, and this part's going to be all done up. I think there's like a shower unit going here, so this part just needs going out a little bit. So got that done, nice easy 150 cuts every course. Got two sets of tie wires in, and got bluebirds in every every alternating course. So I've uh, cleaned up most of it, but um. I think because there's obviously a shower unit going here, it's going to get a lot messier than this, so I'll uh, head down to Dad and give him a hand. Welcome to the lab, where Alex has done this this afternoon, and obviously when the window's coming out, we're going to break that up off the roof, so it's going to be, what's that, two and a bit bricks, probably be a piece in it, but we need to get the window out, tooth it out, and then brick it up from outside, obviously. So that's Alex's bit, that's been done this afternoon, been a busy day today, so we head back downstairs. First thing this morning, we spent a good hour cleaning the cavity out on the back doors. So I'm back through the lounge and so all the cavities were cleaned out because that was all full to the top and just pointed over. Uh, we did all these cavities and then next, uh, yeah. Next job was get this blocked up. So this has been blocked up with uh, bluebird ties every two courses, all nicely tuck pointed at the top. That's to be done next. We want to keep that as long as possible because it's our. We don't want to be coming through the front door because the front door's um, is staying. That's obviously coming out, so we don't want to be damaging and bringing through stuff through the porch anyway. So next after that, that's when Alex went upstairs to do his uh, block work. This is after lunch, and then my next job was to get all these two that's out. So there was two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, and two, twenty, four, and six, twenty-eight. There's about thirty-two that's to take out, and the saws all just flew through it. It's into softish mortar, not not really soft, but soft enough for the saws all to just waste through. So they came out dead easy, which is a massive relief which gave us time to throw an extra mix in and get cracking on the brickwork and as you can see you won't get a much better match than that so we're cracking on here what we need now is the steels to arrive so we can concentrate on the steels and then we can work our way out then so fingers crossed the steels will come tomorrow if not we'll jump on this in the morning we should have that last up for dinner and then um, we as a last resort we'll start taking the walls down in here ceiling joists are coming out which is a good thing because we can get a, a genie lift in then and so then we'll knock get it propped up knock the middle pill out and then the genie lift will fit through then and then we really need me and Alex then we don't need it we don't need a hand well it's going to be fun getting it in but we'll manage we've got our little Aldi wheels haven't we yeah not sponsored by Aldi yeah so another good day on it. Nice and productive. Almost enjoyable. Oh yeah, Paul's been here, the customer, he's been helping out today as well. He'd look at these blocks out for us and help, help me get the uh, and, um, 
Help me get the uh, the French doors moved. Uh, the French doors, I'm afraid, bit the dust. They've been chopped up and took to the tip. So, um, any any uh, complaints, send it to um, somebody else, not me, because it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> we just we just brick the holes up. So, I don't think there's a sign up for today because we're back to carry on tomorrow. So we'll see you. In the <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>